Hey, Dave from Head Games here, and today we are going to port a Skidoo cylinder head that's going to make 900 horsepower, 70 pounds of boost, three cylinder. Keep watching. Anthony Bosco from ARB Tuning has been relying on head games to supply him cylinder heads for many years. We developed a valve spring kit. We developed valve guides and valves and a port that has excelled that ski do into making 900 horsepower at 65 pounds of boost. We're talking about a three cylinder making 900 on ice. Also have the Pro 55 class. They make about 700 horsepower. Either way, nothing is a slouch. These things pick the skis up in the air and carry them through the whole 500 feet. Yes, sir. We're talking, these things go 140 miles per hour in 500 feet. It is craziness. I've never been to a race. I do plan on going to one, but today we are gonna port the cylinder head and I'm gonna show you exactly what we do. Here's what we got going on. We got the OEM port. The OEM port is, this is the intake side, and we're gonna rip these guy bosses out. I'm gonna make this a fin because there really just is no shape to the port to go crazy. So we're gonna make a fin here for some airspeed, and I'm gonna widen up this area here. Now, this is actually pretty close to the gasket, so we you don't really have any room on the port side to go much bigger, and then you're gonna run into other issues. So. We're gonna shape this here, and let me take a look at the floor. On the floor of the port, we're going to make this part a fin, but and of making that a fin, this whole area here is gonna get widened. This whole area here is gonna get widened. So we're gonna widen it. We're basically gonna change the shape of the port and the size of the port in order to get some airspeed and airflow out of it. We're not gonna go crazy big. We're not gonna be hogging it, but we are gonna be reshaping it. You see here, the bowls are actually already machined from Skidoo, and that's okay. Although I really wish that they let me decide what size I wanted it, but they come pretty, it's almost like a pocket port, but not because there is still room on the table here for blending all of this in, and that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna widen up this area here. That's what I was showing you on the other side. We're widening this all up into this ported area that's machined already and then we're gonna go on to the exhaust. For tools, we're gonna use the Head Games Super Spiral Burr. This is the three quarter, I call this the Honey Badger because we're gonna take out a lot of material and we're gonna take it out very, very quickly. So I need something that's just gonna rip it right out and this thing's gonna make short work of it. And I'm gonna be putting it on my Makita Makita GD0603 grinder. I think that Makita should be sponsoring these things since I'm showing so much with their grinder. I can put some links on below and you guys can check this stuff out. And these burrs are available on our website. You also see me go back over it with the Head Games Super Spiral Half Inch Burr. And that's just to make everything nice and easily be able to sand it. So. Once I rip through the intake side, you'll be able to see the exhaust. Let's go.
stop here for a second. I just want to show you the difference. You see here that I made a fin out of this. Now you also may watch me carve this wall. And you might be wondering why did I start with the floor first? And that is simply because your hands can only move in certain directions in an efficient manner. So just the angle of these ports, I would be pushing against this wall if I were to be doing it from the roof side. So I do it from the floor side and I can shape this whole wall. And then when I go to the roof, I don't have to do so much shaping. And here's a visual of what I'm talking about. I don't have to worry about trying to make this shape because the shape will be different if I did it from the roof. And if I did it from the roof, I wouldn't be able to blend it in so easily into this floor, but that's not the case from the roof. This is just super easy to do from this side. I was talking how much this exhaust port sucks. The guide boss takes up pretty much most of the port here. So we're gonna rip this out and we're gonna make these fins a little more pronounced. And then we're gonna fix the short turn. The short turn's pretty, pretty bad. I'm gonna widen these short turns up and I'm gonna make this fin a, a little bit more pronounced. And I'm actually going to increase the cross-sectional area of the port uh, I'm not going to tell you what size, but I do open these things up a little bit on the exhaust and I do the short turns. I'm pretty much going to use the half inch Super Spalber from Head Games through the whole thing because you really can't fit anything else. the bowl area and we're gonna grind out you'll see it same thing they did on the intake there is a little area here that is it's already machined and I measured it and we're actually right here we're 90% of the valve and then here to here we're 87% so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it all 90% of the size of the valve and we're gonna stop there Here, we're gonna make this a little wider. 
and this a little wider here. So all in this area here is gonna get widened here, here. And then we are gonna blend all of this in. And the turn, it almost turns down towards the, towards the flange side. And I don't want it to turn down. I am going to make this all one turn. So basically I'm gonna lay it back, but I'm laying it back from this side forward instead of from that side this way. It's easier to blend. Here we are at the exhaust, all ready to sand. And I'm gonna switch over to air. So I switched to air for sanding only because I just never found electric to be very worth it. I don't, I don't really, it's very hard to control. And the biggest part of electric is it does not blow anything away. You have to blow it away and it becomes messy and sandy. And so that's the advantage of using this Clico grinder. Now this grinder is really expensive. It's like almost $800, but I know you guys are not gonna have this, but the biggest attribute to having the air grinder is a lot of air grinders have air, it comes out this side and it pelts you and whatnot. But I have this air grinder that it has a front exhaust. So all of the air that bleeds off of it is gonna go in front of it. And what that does is blow all of the sanding bits and the metal or whatever is in front of it, blows it away from me so I can see my work. I'm gonna use a 60 grit cartridge roll. I'm gonna go back over it with 120 grit for the exhaust. 60 grit stays on the intake side. I'll put some links. You can actually buy this as a bundle. Well, not the grinder, but, but this stuff. You can buy this stuff as a bundle from us. And you're gonna see me use this on the short turns. This is uh, for a flapper. So they come in a roll and we just cut them to size. And what I did was I take some prop rod and I cut the center here out and then I went on the grinder and I made this all so it's not rough edge and you stick it in here so you can kind of make your own roll. And what this does is for the short turns, when you do the short turns, you don't want something that is very rigid like a cartridge roll. You want something malleable and that way you don't have to worry about making ridges from cartridge rolls on the top of your short turns. All right, now this thing is ready for guides and a valve job, mill, and then assembly. Let's go take a look at the parts that we're gonna install, the bronze guides, whole nine yards. Keep watching. She is looking beautiful. I know guys, I did not video 
any video of the valve job getting done. I didn't, I didn't video the guides getting done, but here we are. And we're gonna go over it. See this thing is all sanded, looking beautiful. Oh my gosh, so delicious. All hand ported, hand sanded, ready to rock and roll. Take a look at them intake ports. Looking delicious with the fins here and here. Sand, now this is a 60 grit, 60 grit sandpaper. And uh, we do 60 grit on the intake, 120 grit on the exhaust. Bronze guides installed, all milled, ready for assembly. So back in the day, I'm gonna say almost 10 years ago now, when Anthony first started coming to us, they didn't make any spring kits. They didn't make any valves. Uh, as far as I know, they still don't. Like nobody makes a aftermarket valve for this. So we approached Freya Racing Products and they made us valves and they made us a dual spring kit. They made us a titanium retainer. First up, we got valve guides. These are GSC Power Divisions valve guides for the ski -Doo. Whenever we can use a bronze guide, we put a bronze guide in because it has a natural lubricity, so you have less friction and it dissipates heat better. And you don't have to worry about this stuff like a OEM guide, a steel guide can break off and go into your turbo. The OEM spring, not gonna do it for what we're doing here. We use a Ferrea spring for right now. So Ferrea makes this spring for another application and they also made us this cool retainer and this cool retainer has our name on it. I can't, if you can see it, it has our name on it. It makes it so you can still use the factory puck. And it is made to go with this dual spring. So you have something that works. Valves, the custom valves from Faria. And these valves, so we change a lot about the valve. This is not an OEM. We change the tulip on it. On both intake and exhaust, I changed the margin on the exhaust so it takes heat away from the valve. And we move the lock down. We move the lock down so that way we can get a little bit more spring pressure without all the fuss of using a shim. And this is from Faria. And this is this is how you make all the power without dealing with all the bullshit. And so we made it flat faced. I made it flat faced for strength. Sometimes you start running a lot of boost, the valve will start pulling through or it starts concaving. So we made it, especially because it's a small stem, I made it flat faced and it's actually a very lightweight valve still, but it is much stronger than OEM. All right, guys, that's going to do it for us today. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Toodles.